In this video, yet more progress on a Daihatsu Charade. Yes. Today we are um, finishing this because we've got to refit the water pump. We left you hanging on the last one, bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, we want to get gearbox and clutch swapped over. And someone keeps saying something about cleaning, clean, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning the engine bay. We had, there the has been much bay. discussion about this. When he was left unattended for a day, he was going to just stick the engine in there, but that's not I didn't, progressing. Yeah, I didn't progress well enough nicely. though on that one. But it, it's more than just cleaning. We've got some de-rusting to do. Yeah, she needs uh, de-rusting, she needs protecting, she needs painting. Yeah, in Daihatsu places. in their wisdom don't seem to have used paint here, just primer. So uh, that's great. Uh, not unusual at all on modern cars. Um, current Fiat Panda, you will often find the inside of the bonnet. They haven't bothered painting. Mm. Uh, Citroen C Freeze, they don't paint any of the underwing area you can't see. Uh, so, I mean, this at least means we can just check any old paint on there and it make it look slapdash and that's absolutely what? fine. No. no, no, absolutely not. She's got to look right. Okay. It's got to look right. Uh, the, the desire to do things properly continues. Yeah, and what happened when you were left unattended for a day? Um, everything was fine. No, chaos. Well, slightly chaos. Slightly chaos. Maybe some items were just nothing not Nothing is labelled. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing is labelled at all. Oh. Uh, incidentally, we, we've got to tighten up this crankshaft pulley to, um, I think it's 100 and... Was it 100 or 199? I will check the book. The book probably says over here, actually. Uh, timing belt. Da, da, da. Do you know how exciting it is that you check the book? Uh, where are we? It's uh, 98 newton meters on that crank pulley, which is going to be very difficult to achieve. We, we've got options. We could try and find something we can bolt on at the back here in one of these bolt holes that locks the flywheel. That that would do it. Or I was thinking we'll actually put the engine back in and then tighten it up once everything's in. Mm. You can put it in gear, stand on the brakes, and hopefully that'll hold everything taut. Uh, people have been talking about taking spark plugs out and putting rope in the cylinders. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster, especially with me doing it. So we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, as you may have heard, the kettle's just finished um, boiling. So we're going to have a cup of tea and crack on. Yeah, I need, I need to work on my board. My, um, it does roll, sort of. No, it doesn't. No. It kind of lugs. Right. Why are you disturbing my beautifully arranged mess? Because I need to clean the engine bay. Oh, okay. Remember? Should I, should I move this over here then? That might be easier. You might want to do something with that crankshaft pulley. Put it in the bag and label it or something. I was going to do it yesterday, but um, uh, the dog ate my homework. <laughs> but you didn't want to. Yeah. You just removed it. Yeah, on the water pump, on the recommendation of my friend Katie, I am going to use red rubber grease. Uh, hopefully just to ease that seal in. I look like the camera's just staring at your bottom at oh the moment. Oh god, yeah. sorry, I didn't know the camera was on. Yeah, the camera's on. Oh god. Uh, yeah, in a, an entirely unsurprising turn of events, <laughs> one of the wheels has broken off. <laughs> uh, no one saw that coming. No one saw that coming. But the uh, trolley has broken. Uh, apparently you can buy actual trolleys proper ones apparently from oh, is it aldi or yeah. Lidl? yeah for like 18 quid but probably actually work well there we go engine is moved off the trolley of utter disaster that needs to go under the new engine doesn't it yeah probably so that went really well that we found some more coolant <laughs> we have found some more coolant but yeah might need a different engine trolley to put it back in maybe we do try and get one of those Lidly ones or find a better way of mounting that. But, uh, it was yeah. a little bit just we needed it in the moment, wasn't it? So Yeah, we knew it wasn't going to do the job very well. Be perfect. We've still got the casters and we've still got the boards. We can cut the board, we can strengthen the mountings. I only built that with what I had up here at the time, which was entirely insufficient. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, you want a clean engine bay, don't you? Yes. So you're going to start cleaning that, probably with my toilet roll. Toilet roll toilet brush attachment it I isn't it isn't actually a toilet brush uh, the head is actually designed with a shank to go in i genuinely did ponder how you were cleaning it with a toilet roll because you said toilet roll that's a toilet yeah. brush yeah I, for some reason i seem to have a bit of a blind spot there 
<laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to get on with um, refitting this water pump, which is what I originally was going to do. Tool in question. So I've got that, I've got my red caliper grease, and hopefully that'll just encourage it to go in there. Oh, you're showing off your uh, yep. toilet brush. That battery might be a bit dead, but I've got the other one on charge. Okay. Um, could I possibly have some degreaser? Suggestion is degreaser. Yep, that's probably a good suggestion, to be fair. I mean, the good news is if the water pump does leak, it's not actually too bad a job to get it out and do it again. Because it isn't powered by the timing belt. Uh, I'm just going to clear all the excess grease off the pump. There's a clip in here. There's a what? There's a clip. A clip? Yeah. I wonder what that's for. <laughs> we'll never know. Well, we will know because we've got to reassemble, remember? Yeah. But the more you reassemble you, you do, the more you realise clips don't actually matter anyway. In the words of Derek from Vice Group Garage, that's fine. In his lovely reassuring voice. Yeah, that's fine. It is good quality programming. Mm. And it isn't programming at all because it's YouTube. Right. Um, you have to just use the bolts to wind that in, I think. Bolts should be in the water pump box. Because I was slightly organised. Do you believe me? No. No. Hmm. This is going to be slow progress. Why? Because I have to be in here. Oh, it suits you. It's a good look. I know. I should, you know, sorting out my holiday wardrobe at the moment. I yeah. Think a, a wear, wear a daihatsu. Hmm. Stylish. Oh, there's a 10. And there is a 10 I can indeed put on a different ratchet or thing. There we go. Let's do that then. No, it's still a 12 I'm lacking. Where's the 12 gone? If it was on the trolley, it's in the box. Well, it was on the trolley because I was using it and now it's vanished. So I think that makes it your responsibility. Pardon? Right, I've got the torque wrench out again. Oh my gosh, this is like... Oh my pro goodness, twice. Pro professional. Twice in two videos. It's a mere 5.9. Um, which is about 6. It's about as low as my torque wrench goes for these top two 10 mils. So... That's that, and that, and then I think it was 18, let's go and check the book, 19, 19 newton meters, mighty, for this bottom 12 mil. And there we go, that's that all nice and tight. I bet when Katie does it, she doesn't manage to smear red caliper grease all over the water pump, but then she is a professional mechanic and I am a hopeless mechanic. The two are very different things. I'm going to put the pulley on that came off this engine because it's here. More little 10 mils to hold that on. Now the cleaning has been held up because unfortunately the toilet brush, uh, the drill battery seems to have failed so that's great. It would be lovely to have a little brush because there's all bits of flora in here. Well, that's good, it means it's basically um, carbon neutral. <coughs> Yeah? Oh yes dear. I was going to see what these little bad boys sh should be talked up to. That's just crazy isn't it? Actually using a torque wrench. And a manual. 9.5 on these. Yeah the manual is sort of helpful and sort of, sort of not. Uh, <laughs> oops. What? Uh, I was looking at the wrong scale. <laughs> okay. I may have slightly over talked. That one, so it's all well and good trying to do the right thing, but don't worry, it's still hub nut. We're meant to be on 9.5 for those. That's back on the 10 again. No, that's not right. That water pump doesn't want to turn at all. So, well, better to discover now than when the engine's back in. Because yesterday you said, oh, we just got the water pump to do, that's easy. Yeah, that'll be easy, yeah. That's what you said. But the pump is turning fine, um, but with the pulley on, the pulley's obviously um, hitting this casting somewhere. So that's exciting. I'm going to go and have a look at the pulley on the old engine, see how it compares. That's the pulley off the old engine, which if I put on there, looks like it's going to work an absolute treat. They're very different inside, these two pulleys. And this one's got all this sort of extra gubbins in it, so that will not work for us. But hopefully this one, what a beautiful ringing noise that was. Will nice. work for us. 
You wonder how many other little jobs are going to be like this. I love your positive mental uh, attitude. There we go. That is looking much better. But now I really will have to find a way of locking it so I can talk it up properly. Oh, I can actually just do it just by holding it. And then uh, we can get the crank pulley back on, I think, can't we? No. Oh, oh. What, oh? I did a thing. What did you do? I didn't put the timing cover on before the water pump pulley. Should that have happened? I don't think it fits behind it. How very, um, hope not. I don't think anyone noticed, but yesterday I took this 12 mil bolt from the top of the dipstick tube and put it on the old engine. Uh, so that doesn't need to happen. That needs to go here because it was missing entirely. But yes, you do have to put this on before putting the water pump pulley on. Uh, we need to replace this bracket as well because uh, I think when they were lifting this engine out of the scrap car, it got bent. It got very badly bent. But uh, that should be no problem for Wheezy Gun if I put the right socket on it. Oh, that's a 12 mil. I've lost my 12 mil socket. Oh, no, there it is. Weird. It's just right there. Was it in the box? Yeah. Only oh. 10 mils are meant to do that disappearing trick, not 12s. There we go. Right, this should be a simple case of... They're not 12s either. What? <laughs> oh, no one is. They're just a bit crusty, I think. So uh, hopefully the bolts and the bracket are in better condition on the other engine. Yeah, brackets and bolts are in much better condition on the old engine, uh, probably because of the amount of oil it was spewing out everywhere. So built-in rust protection. Just lovingly protecting it. Yeah. By the way, um, yes, I am using a chrome socket there. Lots of people were getting upset about that in an impact gun. You, you shouldn't do that, but... I knew they were going to come untight without too much of a fight, so I didn't think it was going to be an issue. And verily, it wasn't. Uh, now, you probably should clean up this bracket and the bolts before putting them back in, but uh, we're not going to do that, are we? Oh, oh, she stopped. Yes, we're going to do that right now. It's a really good job for the parts washer, actually, wouldn't it? I've got a parts washer right here. Why am I not using that? It's got all sorts of brushes in it that you'd find useful as well. What? Brushes, like the brushes I've been asking for all morning, brushes. Yeah. Well, I don't think Sarah in tune would consider that um, restored, but I do. So I think you've done a good job. It, it looks just as clean as the other one now, so that's a perfect match. So we'll whizzy this back on. No, we won't whizzy it back on. We will do it correctly to the correct torque setting. Actually, balls to that. I can't be asked. It's going into an iron block. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just... Um, hand judge that one I think. Use the whizzy gun to just whiz them up a bit. There we go. And then I'm even going to just use a little ratchet just to... Yeah, that, that was definitely a click. Click. Yeah, we're all good. Beautiful. Uh, the, the rebuild continues. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Just emptying out mud. <laughs> okay, uh, exhaust manifold. That's going to be the next battle. Uh, so again, that's going to be... Um, going to need the bolt extractors for that one because we've got a rusted bolt. Yes, we need this item. Because that is the catalytic converter. But... Uh, not sure if you remember, but it's the bolts and nuts that are holding it in are considerably rusty. So uh, definitely going to need an extractor on that one. And uh, yeah, we'll start there and see how we go. Sadly, the uh, 12 mil is just rounding. So I'm going to hammer on the 11 and hope for the best. Not an easy area to get into. There we go. Uh, I still don't think this is going to work. Oh, then again. It liked it there, didn't it? Cheap as that noise. 
victory has been accomplished and a very rusty, very mangled nut has been removed. Excellent. Just a few more to go. Well, stud extractor and impact driver between them did the job. So we got the cat off. The cat's not looking great, but it did actually pass the MOT, uh, MOT emissions quite easily uh, last MOT, despite all that blue smoke. So it's quite clever. These, these are quite expensive to replace, but the state of this, where that mating face is absolutely awful. I mean, the gasket, um, work out which way it sits. Uh, that way. Uh, so the actual ceiling faces on the head are quite small, but all this bulging can't help. We might have to grind that back or something to get it flat. This port, there's clearly a lot of oil getting into it. Um, or, or coming out of it, rather. So that might have been the source of our oil burning. This um, number three cylinder, I think that is. Or is that number one? No, that's number one. But uh, yeah, you, you can see oil's leaking pretty much everywhere on that engine. So we should ponder what to do, but I think we're going to pause for today. So we'll uh, jump into another video yeah, when uh, we'll be a bit more progress. Are we going to end this video there? Uh, we oh. could do. I don't think people mind installments. Okay. Well, we'll oh, look, do... look, look at my clean bit. Oh, sorry. Look at the cleaning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At the end, your mate's coming along yeah, nicely. I haven't got to the back bit yet. And I've no, started so... on this wheel arch as well. She's just covered me in dirt. Yep. You got so... dirt in the face as well. I did slightly. get dirt in the face. Yep. So you um, all part of the experience. So we'll clean it up. We'll rust proof as we go. We're going to have to um, get a bit more aggressive with some of these rust spots here. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't wired brushed those yet. I just literally cleaned them so far. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah. Progress is gently being made, and that's kind of what we're about on Hubnut. We don't rush into anything. Uh, so, yes, yeah, stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in another video. Bye. Where are you going to put you? You can do it. Oh, the pressure. Pressure. I don't know where to put you. <gasps> you got to work on your put you. That was a bit quiet. Do oh, that again. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I didn't realise it was an art form. Yeah, oh, it's very important. Oh, this is what I wanted. I don't ask for much in this life. I just wanted to do for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>